Hey guys, all right, it's the next day. I was trying to squeeze this in. I'm going away this weekend, so I really wanted to get this done so it could drive for the customer. Well, not the customer, but the giveaway winner. I really, really like the way that the one from yesterday came out, the black and orange, and it looks like Halloween, but like kind of neon, so I really hope it dries well. Um, I wasn't sure yesterday when I was making it. I was like, I was kind of panicking. I didn't use enough paint. Like. It was a bad process so i'm like glad i get to show you guys this process because you can kind of see not only the finished product but like the real struggle and like thought that goes into it so i hope you enjoy that so let's try it with white and um hopefully as cool as that one yesterday was i really want this to be what the giveaway recipient was looking for so wish me luck all right as always gotta put my gloves on and I'm doing it backwards, of course. Love that. All right, so today we're doing a white base. And I think I'm gonna use up the rest of what I have here. Hopefully it's enough, because it's really not all that much and I don't have time to mix more. I've been so busy this month. August has just been a trip. Um, I'm seeing a friend tonight that I usually do see more often so it's kind of weird that it's been almost a month since we've seen each other um so I feel like there's a lot to catch up on but I've just been doing a ton of other stuff this month time gets away from me so I want to do more yeah I'm gonna finish it yesterday I didn't do enough black so not gonna make the same mistake pour more paint my goodness I don't know why I well I guess I don't like mixing the paint so it's like all right if I only use a little bit, I can wait longer until I mix more. What do we want to start with today? Again, I think I want orange to be like in the forefront of the colors. So I'm going to be more careful today. Sometimes I get a little bit carried away and just go where the painting takes me, which usually is what I like to do in my just style of fluid painting. Some artists don't take commissions because it can be difficult to replicate what people have in their minds about something and that can be frustrating um and maybe feel limiting to some artists put those two too close together but i forget what i did yesterday exactly but we want it to be different Ooh, i'll do red i kind of forgot about the red yesterday i'm gonna do red next to that because i think it'll just be a really intense base which i'm definitely going for See, it kind of pushes it out of the way anyway. It's kind of funny. So, yeah, those are all roughly the same size. Oh. Yeah, this red, it's primary red from Liquitex Basics. It's not mixed with anything anything else, just the paint, flow draw, a little bit of water. Um, but it's very like fuchsia, not fuchsia, like magenta, I guess. And I think I want pink and that red. And I'll do, oh, now I'm just, wasn't I, didn't I just say I was gonna be more careful? And what am I doing? Literally not being careful. I kind of like that look though, that little swirly type of look. I didn't do it in these ones, but a little trick, you can just kind of like do it yourself. I think that looks cool. Cool. Anyway, now I want some yellow. Sorry if I'm all over the place today. I am kind of good with time management. I'm good with short term time management, but it's more difficult for me like longer term, like planning out the whole week. I, without a tool, I'm not using a calendar. So note to self, I need to be a little bit more administratively organized and get a calendar so I can make the most of my time. Um, but anywho, so I have been super busy the past like two days. <sighs> and I have fun too, I do have, and it's summertime, I've been having fun, but I do work a lot too. So but it's all about balance. But sometimes I'm not great at managing. Like I could have done more Monday, Tuesday of this week than I did. All right, I want more pink.
Now I'm just getting kind of crazy with it, but not really crazy. Just a little bit. Orange in between. And then I'm gonna do some metallics. Oh, what am I doing? I'm getting crazy. Tie it all together. Cool, I'm digging this. I love the colors. All right, so now I want my metallic yellow. I'm having so much fun. Like I feel re-inspired for a little while. I was feeling kind of stagnant and now I have so many ideas, which is really exciting but um, it can be overwhelming because I'm the type where I'm like, oh yeah, I can do that. I can do everything. Like, you know, I, I figure like, I'll make it work. And somehow I usually do make it work, but it can like, it can be a lot, but I'm still having a lot of fun. So I can't really complain. I'm happy to be re-inspired. Now, where was I gonna put this yellow? All right, um, red, we need some more red, and I'm feeling it here. And I think here. I can't help myself. I don't want too much of one color anywhere. It's better all mixed together. All right, hair bubble. Big ones you can pop with your fingers, but usually I wait until, oh, is that falling off already? Usually I wait for the torch to pop the air bubbles. Pink, metallic pink, let's go for it. And where? but I've got to tie it in multiple areas. But yeah, I love this. Hopefully she likes these colors. I'm gonna do it like in between these. Cause with art, there's no rules. A lot of time I don't have a plan. I just kind of do what feels right in the moment. <laughs> just kind of wing it. That looks cool. I'm happy with that. I used much more pink than yesterday, so that's good. Take a um, popsicle stick, um, a straw, anything, you know, anything you have, and then um, have a paper towel handy so you can wipe it off. So I'm just gonna drag out from the center, just like I did yesterday. Ooh, that one I didn't do straight. And that happens sometimes. And you know what you do? I still didn't do it straight. You just do it again or do it however you want. It doesn't really matter. It would be good if I had better aim, but it is what it is. It's still gonna look cool. I'm confident. So we're just creating like a cool tie-dye effect by like dragging the colors into each other. And um, yeah, so now I'm gonna torch it, pop the air bubbles. All right, and then we're gonna pour it out and see, see how it spreads, so. Let's check it out. Right there. Ooh, oh my God. Oh my God. All right, I just have to say, 
this center already. I've only touched it for like two seconds, but it just looks like the sun. I wish I had my phone to take a photo of that. So hopefully this camera, I know I'm kind of at a bigger angle so that you can see me and the canvas, but this is the sun tattoo of my heart. So I'm gonna take a mental picture of that. Hopefully it stays maybe, but I'm not sure. Kind of gets a little morphed, so. Majority of my paint was on this left hand part of my canvas, so I did it a little bit off center. Oops. And then, you know, using more paint obviously um, makes your paint not have to travel as far, so it's um, better for preserving the original design that you um, that you did. Okay, I gotta go slower. Wow, I love this so far. I hope she likes it. Oh yeah, I totally lost that sun kind of center, but it's all right. Oh, I'm okay. I think that's good. Let me just put it to how I want it. I don't want to move it around too much and I probably lost too much over the edge there, but um, I'm going to tilt it a little more this way. I like forgetting to talk because I'm like deciding, do I like this? Which I do with all my paintings. And sometimes it turns into a yes and sometimes it turns into a no. More often a yes, I would say, but sometimes I'm like, mm, back to the drawing board. If you saw my last video, you'll notice that I always touch up the edges <laughs> and I try to kind of focus so I, you know, get a little quiet. It's hard, you don't want the edges um, to be too different than the part right next to it. So I take a little bit of time and precision trying to blend it to look somewhat of a natural occurrence. Yeah, that was great. That pink covered it up. Okay, beautiful. But the colors generally all do go together. And then you want to make sure there's enough paint covering because you don't, it's not usually desirable to see the canvas beneath. So you want to make sure it looks opaque enough. All right, and now I'm gonna swing it around. To make sure all of my sides are covered. So yeah, so that's the finished piece. Let me spin it back around for you. Here is the finished piece. Um, I'll show you again on my Instagram, or maybe I'll, I'll uh, put it into the end of this video, um, the dried result, because sometimes it can vary a little bit. I'm going to take off the gloves, torch it, and then move it to a spot to dry. I hope you enjoyed these videos. Um, if you did, please like, please subscribe, and if you want, leave a comment down below and let me know which one you like better, the black base or the white base. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.